Okay, so uh, I let me just. Oh, jeez. Oh, I am sorry. I. I was trying to open my desk drawer to get another pen, and I didn't know how to open it. And I just pulled the file. I thought that would open the desk drawer. It's a false alarm. You can uh, shut it off now. Oh boy! Wow. It's going to be one of those days. Well, they needed to label it better than they had right. it labeled. You it can't says tell. right here, pull in case of fire. And Oh, no. I, oh, my finger slipped. I didn't I, mean. It was a false <laughs> alarm. False alarm. We can thank you. Oh, my. You know, this, this, this happens more than you think. You know, I feel pretty stupid right now. Because everybody's like, it's a fire alarm. It's clearly marked. When was the last time you pulled a fire alarm by mistake? When's the last time you met somebody who pulled it by mistake? And I'd say, never. Um, Okay. I mean, yes, I knew somebody in grade school who pulled it intentionally. But that's the only time I've ever seen anyone involved in pulling a firearm because they're clearly marked. Now, that's what you might think. However, there are a lot of people, a lot of, well, there's one person who thought it would open a door. Uh, This is what happened uh, this week. (laughs) In the building he works in every Hmm? day. He thought, well, but it's probably a door he's never been to. Does he think the doors work differently in different parts of the building? Like they just operate? I don't know what you mean. There's just a what handle separate from the door? Uh, well, n- no, he couldn't. I mean, the door mm. was marked. Right. Okay. You know, okay. push the lever and door will open and sound the alarm. Uh, I said it will sound the push the uh, push the lever and alarm will sound for 15 seconds. Door will open. And uh, that was clearly marked on the door on the lever. Hmm. But uh, he said he needed to get out uh, because, uh, well, he had to get to a vote. Now, a lot of people will say that Jamal Bowman was pulling the fire alarm to make sure everyone in the Capitol got out of the Capitol. Hmm. So they would he would uh, disrupt. What do they call it? A uh, oh, an official proceeding. Hmm. That sounds. But he was just trying to. Mm hmm. Because you're not supposed to disrupt mm-hmm. official proceedings. We've mm-hmm. learned that quite no, a bit. Oh, see, I'm so- Gosh, Stu, I'm sorry. I couldn't get this jar of pickles open. <laughs> I was just going to have a pickle while I was listening to you. Yeah, And sure. I, I couldn't get it open, and I pulled the fire alarm. I thought maybe that would... It says twist to open right here on okay. the... Well, they should, and, yeah, they should be clearer about and that. I, yeah, so... It was another false alarm. Thank you. Oh, man. Close call. Happens all the time. Yeah. Doesn't it? Now we have to delay the show. We what? We have to delay the show because you pulled the... Oh, no. What? I just pulled the fire alarm because you said it would delay the show. <laughs> and we wouldn't... Yeah, now we can't we can't do the show while oh, the fire alarm wow. is, is actually sounding. Sorry, gang. I'm sorry. Sorry, we all have to go away. Good night, everybody. Well, now it's off, so we can do the show again. I, this is unbelievable. It, the idea that we're supposed to believe this. Well, AOC, she oh. believes it. Now, she was the one She was the one who had never seen a disposal before. Right. Remember, she, was, she did a little Instagram thing. I think she was drunk. And she flipped a switch. She was like, I don't know what this switch does by my sink. And she turns it on, and it's the disposal. And she goes, oh, 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 my gosh. I What is that? I've never seen one of those. I don't know what that disposal is. I've never even heard of it. Uh, maybe if I do this, I can cl- close it. Will it close the disposal? I'm just trying to close the disposal. They Gosh. really should have sent AOC to do this job because people legitimately would have would believed believe, that yeah. she pulled the fire alarm yeah. thinking the door would open. Like, she's the only person I know that I would actually believe it. I would totally buy it from her. Yeah. Now, let me, first of all, let me give you uh, AOC. Here she is. 
I'll be honest, uh, it doesn't really make sense to me, his explanation. <laughs> Have you talked to him? What, 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 yeah. What's going on? I there? mean, listen, I think if you actually do see some of the photos of the signs, I think there's, there's something to be said about hmm. the government's about to shut down. There's a vote clock that's going down. The exits that are normally open in mm. that building were suddenly closed. Suddenly. Suddenly. He, Did he pull the fire alarm? So I'm, I'm, <laughs> what I'm here to say is that what I'm House here to say <laughs> and U.S. Capitol Police and Jamal Bowman are an active and he's fully participating and saying there was a misunderstanding. But what oh, I do wait, think he's, is that he's, wait, hold on. He's, he's active and fully participating yes. in saying that there was a misunderstanding. He was, he what was the actively, hell? Say? That is not our language. No, he was. What language is that? What combination of words? That's American, okay? <laughs> You're in America now. Speak American. I, I, she is delightfully stupid. I, <laughs> I, I, it's, I, I, don't, I know people don't like her. I understand that. Right. But I just find her just wonderful. She's so dumb and so, so public uh, about it. Geez. Hang on. What happened? Hang on. Uh, there was apparently one of our listeners was opening their mind. Uh, okay. Oh, and no. uh, they thought that's how they thought that's how they did it. Apparently not. No. Uh, so <laughs> the false alarm. I mean, she is. She, it's not like this is the first time she's ever been on television. If that were the case, you might say, "Oh wow, she really is okay. struggling in this moment." She, uh, this is. It, I want to ask you. I want to ask you. Now, I've got a method to the madness here, just to go with me. Sure. What does a firearm, a fire, uh, a, a fire alarm look like? I mean, it's a little handle. Usually says fire. Yeah. Red and white. Yeah. Yeah. Usually. Okay. Where is it usually? On the wall. On the wall. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where did you learn about fire? Uh, f fire alarms. I don't know that I could trace that back. It seems so blatantly obvious. I can't yeah. point to a moment where I learned really? about it, but it was certainly when I was very young. Very young. Mm -hmm. Probably in school because Probably. you had what? Fire drills. drills. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. And do you know anybody who accidentally has pulled a fire drill? Fire, uh, fire Not alarm. until this weekend. Not until this weekend. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I learned about them in school, I'm sure. I didn't see them anywhere else, I'm sure. Uh, so I learned about it in school. Guess what uh, Jamal Bowman did before he was a member of Congress? <laughs> I mean, uh, gee, what could it be? It was, well, he was a principal uh, of a school. school. Yeah. Mm. So I'm sure he didn't have any run-ins with fire alarms. No, at the school, and surely he wasn't uh, taught that people sometimes pull fire alarms to delay things. Oh, he never by gave his that students. He never gave that message. Never gave that message. No. Do not pull a fire alarm. That's not a joke. It's not a joke. Not a it's joke. It's an offense. Not a joke. Yeah. Now, it's an offense for a couple of reasons this time. Um, pulling a fire alarm is illegal if there is no fire. Hmm. Uh, it's, but It's like, hmm? like uh, yelling fire in a crowded theater. Exactly it's right. similar to that. Exactly right. You're not supposed to do it. Uh, and uh, there's another reason mm. you don't do it in the Capitol. Uh, and that would, because, that would be because you were trying to obstruct official proceedings. Mm. So in other words, if January 6th, just one guy, one guy would have walked in and pulled the fire alarm, he would have been given the 22 years just because he was obstructing an official proceeding. Mm. Now, if that guy happened to be, and this is very common, if that guy happened to say, I'm sorry, I was just trying to open the door. I thought this would open the door. Uh, they probably he would have been gone. I mean, they wouldn't have even questioned him. Yeah, he, they would just let him go yeah. immediately. Immediately. Oh, yeah, he just made a mistake. It was, he thought it was the door handle that was labeled fire. Sure. That was not, not to the side of the door. And it doesn't it, say door. No, it says it fire. It says fire. Mm -hmm. So the best I can do on this is he was trying to open the door and he thought those were fire doors. Now, seeing that they were glass doors, <laughs> seeing that they were glass doors, <laughs> mm -hmm. You, it, I have to grade him down on intelligence yet again. Wait, you're 
you're trying to give him this benefit of the doubt. I'm saying, trying. Okay, it's a fire door, so, so therefore you pull door. the handle labeled fire. And it fire. would open up. But that's the exact opposite of what a fire door would do. Right. It would be very... Yeah. It would be the opposite. Close. Yes. <laughs> You'd want it to be closed yes. in a fire. Yeah. Yes. Why, Stu? Because you wouldn't want the fire to come through. Well, yes. You know? <laughs> but if it's to the outside, okay. it would also... Mm-hmm. Feed a fire because, right. you know, you don't want more oxygen coming in. There you go. So <laughs> I can't make this work. I can't make this work I at mean, all. It's impossible. It's impossible for anyone to believe this. And like, it's one of those things that let's just take him at his word, right? For a second. Mm-hmm. Let's just entertain this for a second. Mm-hmm. He walked in, he saw fire, he pulled it thinking it was going to open the door. He should be immediately removed from Congress. Like, why, you're why is obviously that stu- too stupid to be in Congress. <laughs> so either you I commit agree a with crime this. or you should be out of Congress because you're too I dumb. I agree with this. You Look, if he is this stupid, we don't have to impeach him. We don't have to do anything. He won't find his way to work sometime this week. Right. <laughs> okay. He won't find his pants or his underpants sometime this week. And he'll just walk out in his wingtip shoes uh, and his tie and his shirt and, uh, you know, everything swinging in the breeze. And he's like, what are you talking about? What do you, uh, oh, my pants. I didn't know I was, uh, how do I put my pants on? Just, just have to hit that. Oh, yeah, that's how you and put your pants. If you put your, would if, that help put my pants on? <laughs> Hello, I need to put my pants on. Somebody with pants, come quick. Oh, my God. False alarm, I don't need pants. I don't wear them. You do need pants, but you're already wearing them. Yes. 